Hello friends, my Commodore 1084 monitor died with a sudden bam sound. The fault is called vertical collapse and it's a common fault with old CRT monitors. As you can see it's an SP1 model. Before going inside the monitor I presume you know how to decharge it, always remove the plug. There is fatal voltage inside the monitor. Always do a double check. I will share the link for decharging monitors in the description. After it got faulty I didn't use it for a very long time. I've wrapped it with a thick plastic cover and put it away. But no matter the cover as you can see it got dusty. There are corrosion on RCA, RGB sockets, and front knobs. Now let's remove the board from the CRT panel. Gently remove the parts and take notes or pictures like which cable is coming from where. Finally we got the board out. TDA3653B is the chip responsible for vertical collapse problem but since it's a very old monitor caps around that part can be faulty too. Before changing TDA3653B let's check back of the board, I'm sure there are solder cracks and corrosion to clean. Solder cracks and corrosion can be clearly seen on high voltage areas like back of flyback transformer. Take your time and clean them patiently also you have to re-solder the solder cracks and refresh the solders. This process will consume huge time, don't accept to finish it in one day. As you can imagine it is a pain in the ass but your beloved Commodore monitor's life depends on it. After refreshing solders on the backside, I've changed TDA3653B and all suspicious looking capacitors. Before installing a new TDA3653B I gave it a good cleaning. The RGB socket was corroded and faulty so I changed it with a new one. Also cleaned all the corroded knobs with a high quality contact spray. Now let's reassemble it and test it. Fingers crossed. It works just like a boss. Thank you for watching and please like the video if you like it. Have a great day.